hello everyone welcome back to keto blogging and in this video i will show you how you can add product review schema or star rating to your wordpress website so as you can see that when i search for the term sony zb e10 camera review you will see that the top website having the review rating schema and here the rating is 4.5 and it shows the total number of reviews so let me scroll down here as you can see the second website has also rating schema and when i search below you can see that the rating is 4.5 and it is showing the review by the author name so you can also add a review schema to your wordpress website and you can add different product review section to your wordpress website so here as you can see that i have reviewed the sony zb e10 mark 2 and here i have given the total score of 8 and I have given it based on different parameters like camera quality, reliability, battery life and I have given the rating here and here you can see there is 4 out of 5 star given by users so user can rate this product as well and here user can see the product image, pros and cons of the product, a brief description of the product. So this is how we can add a product review section to your WordPress website and if you have also other options. So let me show you different options like you can see a review section like this or you can see a different review section. So you can see the demo of each of the product review section. So you can see that we have the rating at the top and it is showing the editorial score and we have the buy now button and we have the image showing at the left section. So we have more review options available. So let me click on here. And you can see that this is how it looks so it will show rating based on different criteria so the feature and pricing and so the pros and cons like this so we have different type of review section by using this plugin so let me click on here as well so as you can see the review section looks like and it has given pros and cons like this and user can click on here and give the rating so let me go to this page and here let me copy the url of this article and let me go to reach result task tool and let me click on here and let me enter the url of this page and let's test this page and we have the product snippet detected here and when i click on here it will show the product type and it has given the aggregate rating so the total rating is 10 out of 10 we have given 8 rating and the review count is 1 so it will help you show a star rating in google and we have the product review schema as well so let's go back here and we can see that review snippet click on here and let me click on here and you can see it has given the type review and has shown the product name product image date publish date modified we have the product description and the rating and the author name also shown here and the total number of rating so this is how you can add a product review schema on your wordpress website so let's check how you can install the plugin and how you can set up this on your wordpress website and before starting this video if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button and let's start the video so to add this type of product review section in our wordpress website we are going to use a plugin called ultimate editorial rating so we need to install this free plugin on our wordpress website so for this i will go to my wordpress dashboard here and here under the plugin section i will click on add new plugin and i can simply search for ultimate editorial rating and here you will find the plugin ultimate editorial rating best product review plugin with star rating system by pluginic so let's install the plugin here and let me activate this plugin and i will also give the plugin link in the description so you can just go to this website and download the plugin as well so our plugin is installed in our website so here to add review section you will see this option add review just click on here and you can name the review so we are going to review the notion here so i am using this website as a reference so i will add the title notion review and here in free version you will get one layout option and in pro version you have multiple layout option like this so we will go for free for now 
and here you can choose the maximum width of this section so by default it's 900 pixels so you can change the pixel according to your website layout and you can name the product title here so as you can see we have notion review so i will add the title here like notion review and you can add a short description for notion so let me copy it and let me add the review here and here you can add headings so i recommend you to keep the description brief and here you can upload a product image so let me search for notion here on google i will go to images section and let me download the image to my computer all right let's upload the image here so i will click on upload and i will upload the image from my computer now you can show or hide updated date so as you can see we have the last updated date shown here so you can show or hide this and you can change the label as well and you can also set a custom date if you want and you have the option like category name like camera quality reliability battery life so you can add different parameters for review so let's scroll down here and for notion we can set pricing and we can set reliability or easy to use so i will click on here and let me add a title like easy to use and i will give a rating of 9 and under the second category let me add pricing and i will set like 7 and i can add like features and i will give a rating of 8 you can add more categories and add reviews based on different criteria and you can also add a progress animation and you can also add a pros and cons so in the advantage section let me add pros and let me copy some pros for notion here so let me copy it and i will paste it here in fast section so you can add as many pros and cons here so let me add the second title cons All right, now we have added the pros and cons. You can see so and hide product button. So you can see there is this button showing off here. So if you don't want to add button, then you can also hide that as well. So I can recommend to enable this and you can add your link so that when someone click on the button, it will redirect to your affiliate link. And you can open this in a new tab and you can also enable no follow for your affiliate links and here you can see you can link the product name and product images so when someone click on the image he also redirect to your affiliate link so that is a good option and in free version you can change the color and typography that is a pro feature so we will keep the free one here and here you can add a category like here we can add a category like software and i will click on add new category and let's publish this all right we have added our reviews let's go to all reviews here and as you can see we have the review number one and the category is assigned to software so let me copy the short code from here and i can go to the blog post so let me find a related blog post how to use notion so let me click on edit and to add the short code here in this blog post what i can do is i will just hit enter and i will paste the short code like this let me save it let me open the blog post here and here as you can see that our review section is added here as you can see that the section is showing big so we can adjust the width of this section just by going to your dashboard and let's go to editorial rating click on edit and let me reduce the width to 700 pixel let me update it and let me refresh this page all right as you can see that it is now perfectly fit within our blog post and we have the pros and cons and we have the description and we have different parameters for rating and you can see the total score is 8 and we can click on here and review this product 
and when someone click on it it will redirect to your affiliate link so this is how you can add a product section to your wordpress website now this page will have product review schema so for this you need to click on edit post here and just scroll down and in the right section you have the review schema option so let's select the review so i will search for notion i will click on notion review and let me enable it so it will show the schema for this website and i can add a author name here let me click on save so in pro version you have the option to enable review for your users so when someone go to the comment section they can review about this product and give rating on different parameters so this is available in pro version but in free version you can show a section like this and enable product review schema now let me copy the url of this page and let's go to reach result task tool now let's click on here and let me paste the url and let's click on test url and as you can see that we have the product snippet and review snippet showing up here and when i click on here it will show the total number of rating review by author name and the aggregator rating schema so this is how the ultimate editorial rating plugins work and in pro version you have different options like you can enable different layout option like this and you can change the color and typography settings and we have the cross rating option so let me show you how it looks so when i go to the official website and scroll down here to cross rating so let's click on live demo here and let me click on live demo and as you can see that we have the cross rating option so if you have multiple reviews for different products and you want to compare it like this so you can show that and as you can see we have multiple reviews showing up here and there is the buy button to the end of this product so this is how you can compare your product reviews as well in the pro version so let me install the pro version and let's check what are the features that you will get and this plugin is very affordable so let me go to the pricing section here and you can see that here you will get the plugin for 39 dollar for one domain and if you want to use in multiple domain then you can take the business plan and it has a lifetime option as well where you will pay 129 dollar and it will be getting updates for lifetime and you can use it for one domain so this is a affordable plugin if you are working on a review website where reviews matter the most and you can also use it with your woocommerce website where user can review the, your products and it will be help you rank higher in google and help you increase the search engine visibility and increase the click through rate in google search so let's install the pro version of this plugin so i will go to the dashboard and i will go to the plugin section here and i can upload my pro version so i will click on add new plugin and i will click on upload plugin here let's click on choose file and let me click on the plugin and let's install the pro version here and as you can see that we have the editorial rating pro here so let's replace the plugin with the current plugin now let's click on go to plugin installer now we need to activate the license so let's click on editorial rating and here let's click on activate license now we need to enter the license code so let me quickly do that and let's click on activate all right our license key is now activated now let's go to the all review section now let's click on notion review and we have different options so this option is unlocked with the pro version so let me choose a different layout let me update it let me go to the blog post and let's refresh this page and as you can see that our layout is now changed and as you can see that reviewed by the author name and we have the description showing off in a nice format way and we have the pros and cons now let's check a different layout so let me choose a different layout from here let's click on this layout and let me update it and let's go to the blog post and refresh this page and as you can see that we have multiple images showing off here and we have the pros and cons so to add multiple images 
you have to go to the edit section here and you can upload your images so let's click on add gallery and you can select multiple images for the product so this is how the pro version works so where you have additional options and you can also show and hide user rating let me go to the edit page and let me refresh it and let me scroll down here and let me enable the allow review in user comment so this is a pro feature so let's save it let me refresh this page and as you can see that we have the review option so i can add a headline like notion is very easy to use and i can give 10 rating for easy to use for pricing i will give 8 and for features i will give 10 let's add the comment here like this so let me click on post comment here and let me scroll down and as you can see that my comment is now live and it's showing the rating so here the author rating showing here and we have the commentator rating so you can compare the rating in the comment section so this is a great feature in this plugin so there are also different options like cross rating so let's click on here so for this you have to publish multiple reviews in the same category so let me click on all review here and let me add a different rating all right i have added a second product and i will assign the same category software here and let me publish it now i can go to cross rating and i will click on add new and i will add a title like notion versus click off and let's select the category to software here and i can set different options here so let me choose the first option and i can also set the module type like horizontal or vertical and you can see total number of product so let me set 7 for now and you can enable or disable different options and you can set a brand color as well so let me publish it now let me click on copy short code and let's go to the post here and i can click on add new post and i can set a title like notion versus click off and i will paste this short code here let me click on save draft and let me preview this page and as you can see that we have a comparison like this and where we have the product name product image and we have the product description and there is this buy now button so this is how you can add a product review section to your wordpress website and increase the search engine visibility and increase the click through rate in google search and get more traffic to your wordpress website and it will also help you increase the conversion rate of your affiliate links and it is great for product review sites and great for WooCommerce website who are dealing with products and I definitely recommend the ultimate editorial rating plugin and it comes with both free and paid plans and free plans you will get most of the feature and if you want additional customization, additional layout, color and typography option or if you want the cross rating option then you can um, consider the pro plan which is quite affordable which comes with 39 dollar per year and it has a lifetime plan as well so i will include the link of this plugin in the description and you can try out this plugin and if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button and if you have any doubt regarding this plugin or regarding this review snippet or review schema then you can ask me in the comment section and i will cover that topic in the later videos as well and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.